I've got a Husqvarna 145BT blower, backpack blower. And the customer says that the pull rope won't work. They ran it and it sat for a little bit and the pull cord won't work. And that recoil sure is stuck. Let's take it apart, see what's wrong with it, and see if we can fix it. First thing I'm going to do is take off the recoil and see if that's stuck. Oh, she pulls easy. So that's not our problem. So that means the pistons probably froze in the cylinder. And let's take the spark plug out, take a look down in the cylinder, see if we see anything. Plug doesn't look too bad. Kind of looks black and tarry in there. Next thing I like to do is look at the gas, if there's any in there, if there's not. Look down in the tank, see if anything looks funny. Oh, right away, look at this seal. It's all melted. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, and there's some black tar going down into the tank. That is strange. I guess that's from that melted seal. I don't know. I would think that'd gum up the carburetor before we'd get to the cylinder. But maybe some of this got mixed in with the gas, got in the cylinder, and gummed it all up. Or it's possible that the homeowner ran straight gas in this thing, didn't mix oil and gas, and if that's the case, that means the piston and cylinder wall are probably all scored. Let's take off the muffler and look at the piston and cylinder wall and see how they look. It's a little brown and tarry in there. Of course, we can't see the piston other than what's there. But it looks like it's gummed up in there. I'm going to dump the fuel. There is a little fuel in here. I'm going to dump that out into this glass jar and just see what's in there. It's possible they ran straight gas in here and burned up the piston and the cylinder wall. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, that's nasty. I guess that's some of that black, who knows what. Let's dig a little deeper and see what's up. Let's take a peek in here. Looks a little gummy. A little tarry in there. Let's pull the carburetor off. Well, that's not good. So that tar is all in that carburetor. I'm going to spray a little carb cleaner in there and see if I can free this up. It could just be gumminess. I'll shake that around a little bit, see if I can free it up. You can see that piston and rings better. 
It's got like a varnish on it. It's a little cleaner because I sprayed it, but it's either burned up or sooted up. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my! Yeah, that is, uh, suited up pretty good. Actually, the piston and cylinder wall don't look that bad. It's freeing up. Spray some more carb cleaner in there. And move that around. Now you don't need to do this if you run into this situation because this is freeing up pretty good. But I'm going to go ahead and pull the head off just to take a look at it and see what's going on. There's some Allen bolts down in here, screws. See if I can pop these off. We'll pull the head off and see what we got going on. Take a good look at the piston and the cylinder. I'm going to go ahead and try to clean this and throw it back together and see if we can get it running. I'm going to flush this out, the crankcase out, a little carb cleaner. I'm going to dump some gas in there. I'll dump it out. That'll all evaporate. Then I'm going to put some fogging oil in there. And I'll put a little fogging oil in the cylinder after we get it back together. That'll be all lubricated. We'll put it back together and see if it'll run. Got some fogging oil. Use that to store equipment in the winter or if you're going to store it for a while. Spray it in the carburetor. Just take the filter off, spray this in the carburetor, and it lubricates the piston, the cylinder wall, the carburetor. It's good stuff if you're going to store something. And I'll let this evaporate and then I'll give it a little coat of that. Nice and clean in there. Now this head cylinder wall is tapered here. So you can just squeeze that right on over the rings. Of course the exhaust side's got to go over here, the intake over the carburetor on this side.
And we'll put a little thread locker back on these bolts. And we'll torque them down. <laughs> It could be this carburetor's all gummed up too. But I don't want to spend too much time on it. I just want to see if it'll, if it'll run. If I need to, after that I'll take the carb off and clean it. Which probably needs to be done from the, looking at that fuel. The clean spark plug. I guess that was just off the fog and oil. <laughs> this thing might run. Hee doggy. That's crazy. Let's put some fresh fuel in. See what happens. Oh, it's priming. I like to be able to adjust these carburetors to get them running real nice. And here's where the adjustment screw is down in here, but there's a plastic plug in there, so you can't adjust it. So what I do is I take a little screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and my little propane tank. Light it up. Heat the tip of the screwdriver. You can't see it, but it gets red hot if you do this inside. You can see it. It just takes a minute. You can even do this with a match. After it's heated up, you just stick it down in the hole. I like to hold it in the center. Hold it in place till it cools. I give it about 30 seconds. The longer you wait, the better it is. And then I turn it and pull up a little bit as I turn. That'll get that plug out, I hope, so we can adjust the carburetor. There it is. And now we have access to adjust this carburetor.
that gas was so dark is that the homeowner mixed regular motor oil with the gas instead of two cycle oil. And then he went out and ran it and gummed up the carburetor, got up, gummed up the piston in the cylinder, and then when it cooled down, it locked it all up so you couldn't pull the recoil. I'd really appreciate hearing from you what you think in the comments the problem was. But that's my guess. Anyways, we got it cleaned up. It's running great. And it'll be a good blower for somebody. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.